Wow, we are in one of the most interesting times in history. Hey guys, so today I want to make another video talking about the coronavirus situation that's been going on because obviously this has been big all over the news wherever you go. It has not been a very easy time for a lot of people. It has not been an easy time for me either. Um, and so that this is what this video today is going to be about. I made a couple other videos about the coronavirus, so if you're interested in hearing about that, definitely check it out. I have one video where I talk about what it's like being in Hong Kong, because uh, I was in Hong Kong back in January at the very, very, I guess you can say the starting launch of the coronavirus situation. So definitely recommend checking that out if you're interested. Um, I have another one about the economic impact, but today we're going to be listing out maybe about 30 something ways that this coronavirus situation right now has destroyed or certainly at least changed daily life in America today, regardless of who you are, I really do believe that some point that I make in this video will resonate with you, regardless of whether you are into, you know, politics, arts, sports, culture, school, if you're a student, work, so many different things have been impacted, and I really, really think it's going to resonate with a lot of people, so definitely watch all the way through. In even just this last week alone, I feel like so many people's lives have been impacted in so many different ways. I feel like the world has been completely changed, destroyed, go on and on and on. There is probably an infinite number of ways, or many, many ways. I bet I can get up to a hundred, but I know not everyone has the attention span to listen to a hundred different ways. So I'm going to try to shoot for maybe about 30 ways that I think the coronavirus has impacted people's lives all around the world today. So definitely watch this video all the way through because I think it'll give you guys a lot of insight, even if you just have to play it in the background and just listen to the audio of me talking. Although I will try to show some really, really interesting graphs and pictures that I think would be really insightful for what I do, def so I definitely do recommend and watching the video through all the way as well because I think there is going to be something but again if you don't have it just listen to the audio like a podcast or you know definitely recommend watching so stay tuned let's get the video rolling so that we can kind of just run through the point right now before this video begins, um, comment down below one way that the coronavirus has really impacted your life or changed some part of your daily life plan, some way that you guys have been impacted. And I can bet you there's a chance that one of the ways that I'm going to list um, in the coming couple of points um, might even be that. But, you know, just in case it isn't, just drop down one way. Um, oh, and give this a like and subscribe because I also make other videos. I've already made a few videos about the coronavirus situation. Okay, so I'm going to try to break this down and sort this relatively in categories. So the first way that it's really, really impacted the world is in terms of the travel industry, obviously, because that's one of the first areas it really, really impacted the world. Obviously, the first point is, is that now all over the world, we are seeing travel restrictions left and right. Everything's going crazy. Um, the second point I'm going to make is going to be about all of the different quarantines that's been going. I hope I pronounced that right. Quarantine, right? Some people say quarantine, some say quarantine. Uh, but you know the word that I'm talking about. Um, so many people have been isolated back and forth all over the place. So we go from like having travel restrictions, you know, where people cannot fly into certain places. I think there's now a travel ban going on where um, people from Europe are not allowed to come into the U.S. now for I believe about 30 days or something like that. I'll check my source in a little bit. Um, but then on top of that, not only do we have travel restrictions, but we now also have lockdowns where countries are being totally locked down and people are being trapped, isolated, and quarantined all over the place. The third way it's really impacted life has been that Disneyland and Disney World has officially been closed. Now, I was back in Hong Kong back in January, so you know, for me personally, I have seen Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo, and all of basically the Asian Disneyland slash Disney World all closed for about two months now, uh, but I know recently now they officially closed it in America too. The fourth way it's really impacted life is that airlines are now officially very, very quiet. But on a flip, maybe more positive side of it, it means that airline tickets are ridiculously cheap now. So, you know, if you wanted to take the risk to travel right now, at least certainly on the financial side, it is a ridiculously cheap time. The only thing is you kind of do run the risk that if you leave the country or go far away, you don't know if you're going to be able to come home. So that is something to think about. 
Now we're going to talk more about the economic side now that we've covered the travel side. And now the fifth way that it's really impacted life is that so many different people have lost their jobs because of so many of the businesses struggling and closing. As a result, if you are someone that works in something along the lines of like tourism, hospitality, um, basically multiple industries, retail, so many of these businesses have all been impacted because of the virus situation. And this leads on to the next point, um, number six, which is basically that the economy has significantly crashed stocks everything has gone significantly downhill now we have had a lot of massive bull runs going on um, if you're not a fan of economics um, I, I made one video about like um, the economic impact of the coronavirus I definitely recommend checking that out because I think it is very very important and at the end of the day even if you're not into economics the thing is like Having a good economy means having lots of money coming in and in order to solve a lot of these health epidemic situations, um, you need money to be able to pay for it. So that's why it's actually much, much more important. Of course, health is number one, but there is definitely a very, very huge importance to being able to keep a good, healthy economy because that's where all the money is going to really, really be needed. But I made a video about that, you know, um, check that out in the description or maybe at the very, very end, I'm gonna put like a thumbnail tag or end screen of some kind so you can click it but that's also another reason why you should watch all the way through all right let's continue on another flip side some ways that it has actually maybe benefited some businesses is if you happen to work in the medical industry uh, the medical industry is blossoming right now a lot of online businesses have also been blooming because since a lot of people don't want to go out so things such as Netflix I'm pretty sure they're doing pretty pretty well um, for the most part so online businesses um, and the medical industry grade schools have been canceled all over the world especially in Asia China obviously because of the lockdown Hong Kong Korea um, there's many schools I'm pretty sure that have now closed in America um, and then the next point is is that it, back in America many many US schools or colleges have now turned to online classes so some have been canceled some have gone to online moving on in the world of athletics it has been impacted the NBA has officially suspended their season for at least up to 30 days now for me I'm a huge huge NBA fan so this has been a massive impact I even remember the I literally saw an NBA game the day right before the Rudy Goldberg Utah Jazz Oklahoma City situation and following that not only has the NBA been impacted but even the NCAA has been impacted as of I think of just only a few days ago March Madness one of the biggest events that I also follow has been canceled that is crazy the NHL season has also been suspended indefinitely I'm not a huge hockey fan but I figured I'd bring it out in case you are one of the hockey fans um, the marathon I believe in Boston has been canceled and I believe the half marathon in New York City has even been canceled uh, some have been postponed but if you're a runner if you're a basketball player if you're a hockey person all of these athletics have been canceled or postponed in the world of entertainment, movies, so many different major highly anticipated Hollywood films have postponed their release dates. I know Mulan, there's a James Bond movie, Fast and Furious. I'm a massive, massive fan of Fast and Furious. In fact, Fast and Furious, they postponed their movie release date now by a whole year after hyping us about the Han situation. Um, I'm a huge fan of that series. Broadway has been canceled all the way until April 4th, uh, 12th, I believe, or something like that. It's been canceled for, um, it's going to be canceled for about a month, starting as of maybe a few days ago. I know even in New York City, they've currently had a ban, I believe, of crowds of 500 or more people, totally banned. I wonder what happens though if you work at a large company that already has 500 or more people in the office. That's a very, very great question. But the point is, is Broadway has been canceled. Museums and many classical concert halls have all been closed or you know have postponed their ticket dates and are now not being operated there is a holiday called I believe like the Smithsonian um, free museum day or something like that where basically all around the country museums become free that event has officially been canceled I believe that applied to about 1,200 museums or something like that. So it is very, very legit. 1,200 museums all being impacted at once. For music fans, Coachella, 
I believe um, Tomorrowland, Stagecoach has all, these are all massive, massive major music festivals that have now been postponed for a later date into the future. I think a few of them have even been canceled. But even within specific artists, there are so many artists that are supposed to be going on tour. Um, so, in, so it's not just massive music festivals, but even individual music concerts have had a massive impact. Um, I found a list online, maybe if I can read it off. I believe the, the you know, they were supposed to, I think Avril Lavigne, Miley Cyrus, Kelly Clarkson, the Jonas Brothers, Post Malone, J. Cole, Michael Blue Chair, Madonna, BTS, Reba, McIntyre, Green Day. So many different artists have all been impacted. Their concerts have now been postponed or totally canceled. So music festivals, individual concerts have been impacted. The Track Becca Film Festival has been impacted and I think has been postponed. So for anyone that's a film fan, like me, I'm a film fan. For anyone who's a racing fan, the auto show and the formula racing competition has been canceled. Crazy enough, I went to both of them last year for the very first time. So, you know, time moved fast. I'm grateful for the experience that I was able to go last year, but that's now an experience that, you know, is, I think it's still going on, but it's going to be postponed until an end, you know, to be determined date. For video gamers, E3 has been canceled. One of the hugest, saddest things. I'm also a gamer myself, so that's, a massive massive impact there so many other hobby conventions have all been canceled as well or postponed I can go on and on so regardless of whatever hobby you're into some of the most popular ones I'm gonna read out I believe is BeautyCon, WonderCon, DragCon I think in California they banned gatherings about 250 or more so even crazier than in like New York City, uh, but some of the stuff I have to like read through my re uh, resources, so I'll probably list some of that uh, down in the description below. In the world of fashion, a lot of fashion shows have been canceled officially. I believe fashion shows in both Paris and Milan have been canceled. I think the fashion show in Shanghai is still going on, so if you're into fashion, but I believe now they've turned it into a live streaming event, so it's not going to be like an in-person kind of situation. Mm. In the world of technology, I know so many tech conferences have been canceled. Uh, Google, I think, had a conference. Facebook, Facebook definitely had a conference of some kind. Facebook, Google, Shopify, all have been canceled or postponed. More often than not, most of them have been canceled, a few postponed. I know the Game Developers Conference has been postponed. I'm gonna read up a couple other events. Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, MTech in Asia and Singapore, Semi in Korea and Japan, uh, China. These are all international events, so it's not just, a, obviously it's not just in America, but especially because it started in, a, in China, which is in Asia. Um, the Art Bazaar and a bunch of different art shows. I know there's one huge one that's in Hong Kong and Miami. Those have been canceled. All over the world, art shows have been canceled. So we already have seen in the, so we can already conclude in the world of entertainment, music, sports, NBA, NHL, so many different things, art shows. Hopefully, if you're someone that you know enjoys life, some kind of entertainment, even if it's just YouTube. Um, I don't. I think YouTube is still running, thank goodness. So YouTube is not affected, but certainly the content on YouTube is going to be affected because now lots of people are going to be making tons and tons of videos about the coronavirus situation. So in entertainment, Broadway, theater, art, music, sports, so many things have been impacted. Okay, now that we've covered travel, we've covered economic, work, school, entertainment, politics has even been affected because crazy enough, it also happened to be in the same exact year as the 2020 election here in America. And Trump, um, who's has a huge power over what's going on in America right now with all of his speeches and work over the coronavirus or even some of his lack of work slash work. Um, that's gonna be a massive role. I think a lot of debates have been canceled as a result because of this current situation. But even, it's not even just the debates, but even like how Trump performs in this time probably will have a very massive impact to whether or not he wins the election again. Um, I don't want to talk too much about politics, so we're going to go on to the next point. Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all because we were given a, uh, a set of circumstances and we were given rules, regulations, and specifications from a different time. Uh, wasn't meant for this kind of uh, an event uh, with the kind of numbers that we're talking about. Mr. President, uh, Mr. President yes, please, the last administration please. said that they had tested a million people at this point. You've been well, ask them how they did with the years. swine flu. It was a disaster. But with respect, you've been Next, president please. For three Next, years, please. They had a very big failure with swine flu. A very big failure. 
So now we're going to be talking more about the cultural side of different things and some of this has impacted me directly so that's why this part is also going to be very very resonating. Um, I know that I was recently in Hong Kong um, about back in January when Chinese New Year was going on. Chinese New Year celebrations were all cancelled all across China, Hong Kong I believe for the first time in a very long time which is imagine one of the largest holidays that's being impacted i made a video already describing what it's like in hong kong definitely check that out for a greater description because i mean it is also the origin well one of the origins you know near china and hong kong where everything really really started one of the first cases the tokyo cherry blossom event has officially been cancelled which is crazy Several of the last days all the way down in Italy, the Venice Carnival, I believe, has been cancelled um, because of this. The St. Patrick's Day Parade, for anyone that's Irish or that celebrates St. Pat's, has been cancelled. Their parade has been cancelled all over the world. I believe it was cancelled. It was definitely cancelled in New York City, and I believe it was cancelled in many other parts of um, America as well. Masses in Italy and all around the world have been cancelled um, or restricted, uh, which is even crazy because for anyone who's a Catholic or Christian out there Easter is coming very very soon you know Easter is gonna be coming up soon you know people are a lot more cautious in church especially in a lot of environments that people are normally supposed to shake hands and hug each other and you know share communion that's being impacted as well something related to the greater glory of God um, you know because I think it is very very important and I think finally um, on the racial side of things we've also on the cultural side faced seen so many different cases of racial racism that has really been going on and on you know we've seen Asian people discriminated against I'm obviously biased because I am Asian but it is a very very well-known fact maybe I'll roll a couple video clips I if I can find them and also if YouTube lets me do that um, so it's obviously had a very very massive impact there you know on the racial side of things you know I've seen I've heard of stories about people you know having you know, being discriminated, criticized. Apparently there was a story of one person who sprayed Febreze at an Asian person, which I don't understand the per personal logic about that. I mean, that has to do with smell. If you're gonna, you know, spray something else, but eh, I mean, at least it was, well, not as harmful compared to a lot of other things they could have sprayed. But nonetheless, it's very, very impactful right now all over the news. The coronavirus is impacting communities across the globe, but here at home, it's also leading to some disturbing occurrences. Many in our Asian American neighborhoods are reporting that foot traffic is down and business has slowed to, uh, slowed, uh, to a halt. Even more troubling, we are seeing a disturbing rise in hate-filled attacks. This has now led some to worry about how to defend themselves, and gun sales are actually up in certain neighborhoods. Our Kira Phillips has this report. It's disturbing and disheartening. So if you are from China, I'm surprised they even let you over here. We're talking about racially motivated crimes inspired by fear over the coronavirus. Now I'm going to share it to my family. As COVID-19 spreads across the United States, so does an alarming rise in hate crimes within Asian American communities. Why did they do that to this car? God, they just, my heart just sunk. Why are they being racist to us? We don't even have the coronavirus. And then there's this video posted to Facebook, now part of an NYPD hate crime investigation. Tell me move, move. Horrifying. An Asian American minding his own business as a total stranger berates him before spraying him with Febreze on the street and in schools. Dylan Mariano's family says their son was discriminated against by a teacher who claims he mistook coughing as a sign that the 13-year-old had COVID-19. Dylan says he was coughing because he was choking on water. Um, so of course we're gonna end it with the racial aspect because I think well it's it's one of the biggest ones that I resonated with maybe I'll make a future video about what it's like being Asian during this time period with um, the coronavirus thing going on so I believe that we got up to 30 something points I lost track I'm gonna probably count it up when I finally get back on um, 
home so I can review all of these clips. But obviously it's really, really impacted the world all over the place as we've already mentioned. I don't wanna make this video too long, even though there's so many, many things that I can say about this current situation. Um, so now that we've rolled through this video, if you've gone this far, thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. Maybe comment and let me know which one of these things have impacted you guys directly. Or maybe if there's something that I have not mentioned yet because there's definitely a lot of things that um, I haven't mentioned because it seems like the entire world has been basically shut down. I literally just saw a train to Busan, funny enough, yesterday, which is so, so crazy. Um, and it was such a resonating movie to watch. So definitely check this that movie out if you know you want to see something cool that's entertaining it's on netflix right now especially if you have lots of free time which a lot of people do but thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i think maybe next time you know a couple ideas i might make a video about what it's like to be asian in america you know during these times with the coronavirus maybe i'll make one about um let's see what other ideas there's there's i'll probably come up with something about the coronavirus situation i normally make a lot more like uplifting self-awareness self-help videos about life but it's just that like this time it's it's very hard to do that, you know, especially for me because, you know, I worked I work in the entertainment industry. Um, if you don't know me, I work in the in film production and event services. So I've definitely been impacted by this as well. I'm actually currently underemployed, which is very, very hardcore. Um, but yeah, definitely comment down below what you think. Like, um, hit that bell notification button, and thank you guys so much. I'll probably also add an end screen where I'll link a couple other videos about Corona, which I think are very, very interested. So definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much, and until next time, please stay safe, stay well, um, and take very, very great care. Uh, wherever you are all around the world because almost every single person is being impacted right now or will potentially be impacted. Thank you guys so much.